everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to the third episode of my Terraria Expert Mode Let's Play. As you can see, Pinky has spawned on an expert world. He has 300 health as opposed to 150. So he now has double health to what he had before. Okay. Alright, that's that's okay, I guess. I mean, he only did 8 damage to me. This is expert mode, so actually, that's not a great deal. Do you know what? I think he'll be pretty easy to kill. Once we get him out of there. We need to get him out, otherwise he, we can't take him down. Yeah! Get wrecked, sir! Come on! Come on! I want to kill you and have a chance of getting the slime staff. That'd be amazing. Hey, you can get- Oh, come on, man! Didn't have to summon your buddies, did you, Pinky, you jerk? Alright, come on! Come on, friendo! Are you almost dead yet? Look at you, 57 health. Come on! There we go, <gasps> Oh, what? I actually called it. I actually called it. Oh my god. <laughs> we just got the slime staff. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. I know the uh, Pinky has a, a raised chance of dropping a slime staff, and having it on expert mode increases it further still, but. Still, there's a pretty low amount of chance of getting the slime stuff, but here we go. Our first ever summon weapon. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't believe that. That is absolutely fantastic by all accounts. Wow. Okay, I need to take a moment there, man. I need to take a sip of me uh, tasty Pepsi. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is... Uh... That is quite a way of starting out an episode, ladies and gentlemen. And little guy's going to work already. <laughs> oh my god. I don't believe it. Right, okay, so. Some of you guys very correctly pointed out in the previous episode that we managed to get enough amethyst to make ourselves a hook. And so, that is exactly what we're going to do. And as you can see, when uh, sort of having the slime hook sort of selected, you can go ahead and you can put it right in there. There we go. Achievement get. Fantastic. Oh, you can click on it. I want to take you to it. Equip your first grappling hook. Wow. That is... I just... Wow. Just, just, just wow. That's all I can say at this precise moment in time, man. Just, just wow. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, so after that rather eventful start, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be attempting to make ourselves a wee little house. We're going to be making ourselves a bed, because obviously by doing that we'll be able to set a spawn point, ladies and gentlemen. And by doing that, every time we die, we're going to spawn back in this house down here. Now, unfortunately, as far as I know, you cannot use blocks that were already there. So you have to use sort of man-made blocks or man-placed blocks. You can use dirt, but it has to be dirt that you place down yourself. So I just decided, do you know what, let's just make a little wooden shack of shackiness, you know, that kind of jazz. Yeah, so let's just do this really quick. There we go, that's all good. And what we're going to do is we are going to very quickly go ahead and do this, because for some reason having uh, platforms actually still counts as having walls. Right, now what we need to do is try and figure out how to... Ah, what is this going to be a bit of a bot? Right, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here really quick, and we are going to start digging out a line. There we go. If we start digging out a line, we can make this line sort of trail down to the background down here, so we could take it out and then do a bunch of cool stuff and things. Right. There we go. Right, now we can start digging all of this out. So let me just go ahead and fast forward this real quick. Alright guys, let's get this thing filled in, shall we? A basic stone wall should do the job. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Okay, so, next on the list is going to be a sawmill. That should be pretty easy to make. We should have enough uh, wood. And yeah, we've got 25 bits left. It's running a bit on the low side, but it should do the job. Oh, I have to dig this out really quick. And put the sawmill right there. Okay, sweet. What we need to do now is make ourselves a loom. Okay, and we'll put that down right here. And then we go ahead and make a bunch of silk out of the cobweb we've managed to gain along the way. So, okay. Do, 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 do. 35. Awesome stuff. That's all we need. Uh, white string. Increases yo-yo range. Wow. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Huh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, bed. 
Oh, do we not have enough wood? Okay, I think we might have to go ahead and grab some more wood. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Little guy's been going to work out there. He dropped... Someone dropped me a potion out here. Huh, awesome! I mean, we've got the slime staff drop, so I guess that's kind of cool. Oh, man. I just... I still can't believe that. I'm literally in disbelief. I really am. There's no other word for it. Right, here we go. And... Bada bing, bada boom. There is a bed. Oh, I want it against the wall. There we go. Boom and a boom. That should do the job. Right, there we go. Spawn point set. So every time we die, if we die, this is where we're going to wind up. Awesome source. Awesome, awesome source. Right, okay. So this is what we're going to do next. We're going to grab this gold chest. We're just going to go ahead and place it in here. In fact, do we have another gold chest in there? Uh, we've got a water chest. I mean, why not? Let's have a bit of variety, shall we? Um, do you know what? Actually, I've got a better idea. I have an even better idea. One, two, three, four. That should be enough to put the remaining two chests in there, right? And this should still... Spawn point removed, spawn point set. Okay, that still works. So we're going to go and put the ingots and ores inside of this chest right here. We're going to put the gems and sort of other generic valuables we might get in there. We're going to put potions in this one. Of course, we're going to keep one of them on us at all times because that would be a good idea. Keep the mining potions as well. Uh, oh, gravitation. We could go searching for Sky Islands if we really wanted to. We could do that. We could actually do that. That could be a viable option right now. Pink gel, dirt blocks. Okay, and we have a recall potion just in case we get into sticky situations, which I imagine we will do, because I'm I'm going to assume straight away that the harpies are going to do a stupid amount of damage. Wow, I still, I just, <laughs> the disbelief is real. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to attempt to find some Sky Island. So we've got three minutes, and we're going to do this thing. Whee! So long, suckers! Alright, are we gonna find any or no? Okay, right, we're at the top of the world. <laughs> Look at the little slimy guy following me around. That's amazing. Okay, so all we need to do is just keep going up and down like this. We're pretty much at the rough height where Sky Islands do spawn. So, yeah, all I'm gonna do is do this bit of a rinse and repeat process. And hopefully we'll find some uh, Sky Islands, or at least one. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Just finding one. We've got a medium world, which I believe means there's like four to five Sky Islands on the world. Something like that. That's the last time I read the wiki anyway. Might have changed to 1.3, but who knows? Right. Okay, so. Oh, he's right there. Those harpies have a lot of health, actually. Good lord. Ouchie. Yep, that's a lot of ta damage just taken right there. Okay. What if I just keep my yo-yo out? Ah! Damn, son! These guys are blooming brutal! Oh god! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Well, there goes that plan, ladies and gentlemen. I dropped 12 gold? Mother of god. So I need to go ahead and find wherever the hell it is I died, but on the ground. Right, that's, uh, that's going to be an interesting thing to try and do. Well, the good news is we still have ourselves a, uh, a recall potion, so we should be good to go. And, oh, that's actually not that far away. Expert died 26 seconds ago. Experts don't die. But apparently I did, so I'm probably not so much of an expert now. Uh. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, grab our stuff back, shall we? Ah, there they are! Oh, no! The green slime just took the, uh, the blooming gold coins. Because that's something they can do. Yep, that's right. Enemies can steal your money in blooming expert mode. It's pretty crazy, so you need to be pretty quick in getting back to your death point, because otherwise, you're going to lose your money. You're going to lose your money because they stole it. So, yeah. But there we go. We've got all of our money back, which is awesome. I can see a chest below me. Uh, is it just the one? It is indeed. Alright, so we're going to go back down there. We are going to see what's inside that chest, and uh, I guess we could just go ahead and keep exploring the world, because that's something we haven't really done a great deal of, is it now? Alright, there we go. And I guess we'll uh, light up the other side of this place, because, you know, that's what you do. Okay, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. What have we got? A guarding radar detects enemies around you. And it's a guarding one, so, yeah, not bad. More defense, good defense. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. Wow. Oh, right, yeah, because I... Oh, yeah, we're approaching a snow biome, which, of course, means I'm going to get a slowed effect. Yeah. Well, slowed effect if I go inside of the uh, frosty water. So, it's probably a good idea to not do that. So, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So, this... Oh, it's down here. Wait, hold on a sec. What have I put in there? What? Is that a bug? 
So it's not even in my accessories bar and it still counts. Huh. That's interesting. Right. Mm, I don't think I feel entirely comfortable with trying to do this, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. Oh, I'm so going to regret this. I really am. I am going to regret this greatly. Right. Um. Uh, I don't have a great deal of blocks. Do you know what? We're going to go back. We're going to explore the other side. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah, I think we should put that on just for the extra defense. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and explore the left-hand side of this thing. Yeah. Obviously, the reason why we didn't explore a great deal before is because the desert was there. So, that's something we do need to consider. But, I guess while we're doing this, we can actually go ahead and grab some wood. And uh, what I'll do is I'll grab some more wood and I'll meet you guys back over by the desert, where hopefully we'll explore some more of the world. Here we go, guys, back in the desert, but the bad news is it has become night time, so if any eyeballs spawn on us and start kicking our butts, then uh, we're pretty much going to be screwed, so we want to try and avoid that at all costs. And, ooh, cave system. Oh, hold on, that's mud background. That usually means there's a jungle right beside it, and I think I can see some of the uh, weird green grass that you get with the uh, jungle as well, just the side of it. Hmm. Okay, well, uh... This is certainly going to be uh, interesting, to say the very least. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, right, what have we got? Aglet, nice. Her bag, yep, I shall open that. Got some shiver thorn, blink root seeds, not too shabby. We shall continue downwards in the hope of finding greatness. It will be cool if we could find greatness in the form of loot. Wow, look at the amount of uh, gel we've managed to obtain already. <laughs> That's awesome. Ugh. All the slime killing is starting to pay off in terms of our uh, torch supply. Uh, glow stick. Uh, eh, not bad, not bad. Got some more money in there as well. More awesome stuff. Right, we'll continue down with Zoom. See if we can find anything else. Maybe there's something up here. Who knows? Uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, oh, good lord, there's three of them. All right. Okay, I want to try and get them all over. Or right. oh, get over them all, should I say. There we go, right. All of you can die. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. There we go. Fantastic. fan dabatastic uh, let's roll downwards. Do, 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 do. This is very, very dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, at least we now know there's a demon altar around here. I guess that's kind of cool. Right, okay. I think at this point we're very much fully in the jungle, so... Being careful is something we need to do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get wrecked, zombie face! Get wrecked! All right, he's dead. This guy's trying to come down. He's trying to get my grill. Well, he didn't. He failed because he sucks. All right. Okay. Anything down here? Uh, slimes? That's oh, a yellow slime. It's not even a jungle slime. Oh, I guess that's all right. Kill him! Ow! Twenty-seven damage. That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. Ow! Leave me alone, bro. All right. Now he's dead. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> I like how there's still jungle trees just underground. That is awesome. Okay, can I make it up there? There we go, yes I can. Alright, once again we're going to continue exploring. If something goes wrong, or things get a bit sticky, then I'm going to go ahead and use the recall potions to get myself back to base. Because I do not want to die down here, because coming back down here is probably not going to be the greatest thing in the world to do. Eh? Alright, aha! Yeah! I like seeing me some of them! 160 health, fantastic! Alright, good stuff. Who knows, there might be something up here as well. Always got to be sure to check every single nook and cranny into our area because you never know. There might be a heart just randomly behind somewhere. Right, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a diamond pile. Ooh. I might actually want to go over there. I don't have a great deal of blocks. I need to get on there, don't I? All right. The quicker we do this, the less people are going to spawn. So I do need to be uh, fairly quick with this. So there we go. Little diamond pile. Three diamonds out of that. Not bad. Get 15 of them, and we'll be good to go. And I, for some reason, have only just remembered that I have a grappling hook to my disposal. Hmm. Okay. So, any attempts earlier at trying to get to places and me failing is my memory, once again, being very bad. So, I apologise if you've been shouting in the comments area and I've only just realised that I have a grappling hook on me. I'm so bad at doing that. Like, I'm really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. It's like, unbelievably bad. Alright. Oh well, I mean, we're still alive. We're still kicking. We're still good to go. 
Come on. We're going to have another coin portal. That'd be great. Oh, hey. Hi, guy. Are you... Oh, he's a full man eater. Look at him. Look at him. I don't think I like this. Feel the wrath of my yo-yo. Oh, that guy's got a gold coin inside him. <laughs> Come down here. Cometh. There we go. Come on, up you come, friendo. Up you come. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get that blooming gold coin, all right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Two gold coins. Fantastic. Wow, 32 damage from a bat. My least favorite type of mob in Terraria, bats. They're so annoying. Uh, their small size allows them to pretty much get anywhere as well, which is the most annoying thing. Like, okay. Huh. That was pretty easy. Right, okay. Let's have some of this back. Ouch. If you could like that. Ah, get me out of here. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. All right. I really want to go down there. Actually, no. I think I take that back. I don't think I do want to go down there. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want that to be the case. Wait. My slime dude hasn't been around here. All right. Well, there's me being a dumbass once again. I tell you something, I'm so bad at remembering what I have in my inventory. Like, I really am. I'm frustratingly bad. And again, I apologize for having such a bad memory. It's one of my genuine weaknesses. Come on, Slimey. Do your job, friendo. Come on. Come on, defeat your slime brethren. It's like me on Minecraft defeating my creeper brethren. It has to be done. I don't like doing it because, you know, they are my brethren. But for the sake of survival, yeah, I need to do it. I do need to do it. Right, okay. I think one thing we need to do is we need to try and get a piggy bank, like, ASAP. Because I've got 19 gold on me, and I really do not want to be losing, like, 75% of that. Because on uh, expert mode, you lose 75% of your coins, as opposed to, like, half in uh, normal mode. So, yeah. Bit on the uh, bit on the high side, but, you know, it's expert mode. It's meant to be difficult. It's meant to punish you, so I guess that is fine. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead until hopefully we find a normal cave system, and then hopefully we can find some cool things. So, yeah, back in a moment. This game thinks I'm so dumb. Get out of here, boulder trap. <laughs> I think you're smart. Good lord. I don't know. You can try and kill me with traps, Terraria, but it's not going to work, eh? It's not going to work. What they need to do is have, like, invisible traps. That's proper hardcore stuff right there. Yeah. I mean, invis traps, that would be absolutely ridiculous, but it would also be very, very fun. I don't know, maybe that's the masochist in me. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Look at the amount of slimes down there. Oh, my lord. Right, are they guarding anything by any chance? I don't think they are, but for some reason I kind of still want to take them all down. Oh, okay, well, Slimy could do the job. <laughs> Go, Slimy! Go! Take them all! Take them all down! Do it! Yay! Oh, Slimy, you are beautiful! You are so beautiful. I love you so much, man. I love you so much right now. Ow! Oh, God, 47 damage from that spike slime. That's, uh... Pretty high amount right there. Ouch. As in, that was a very high amount right there. Right, okay. So, let's go up here. We're going to grab that iron. There we go. All good to go. Good lord. <laughs> this game is so hostile. So hostile. So much violence. I don't know, man. Okay, right. We're still good to go, though. All right, onwards. Aha! I see me one of them hot things down there. Huh. There's literally been like 20 seconds since the last cut. <laughs> Almost not even worth doing it. There we go. If I can actually have that, that'd be great. 180 health. Okay, cool. We are increasing our max health at a very nice rate. And that boulder trap almost killed me. <laughs> almost being the operative term. It didn't. So that's good, I guess. Right, okay, up we go. Maybe there's something up here. Maybe we have ascended to greatness. Right? Okay, I mean, yeah, this, this is this is a good sign. Underground houses usually means accessories or a flare gun. Uh, not bad. I'm okay with that. I'm actually pretty okay with that. Thanks, Terraria. You're being very nice to me. Which, again, normally means you're probably going to kill me brutally somehow. So, whatever you have planned, I must insist that you stop it. Okay? Just be mean to me. And then by doing that, you know, maybe you won't kill me, you know? Reverse psychology 101, ladies and gentlemen. 
you know, you'll get the exact opposite results if you tell something to do something. <laughs> oh dear. It's so stupid, it really is. I can see a blinky plant to the right hand side of me, which is illuminating a small little cave, but it looks like a crappy little pocket cave, unfortunately, so I don't think it really goes anywhere. Right, okay, in which case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to this uh, top part over here, because it looks like there might be something over here. I don't know. Hey, Slimey! I need your help, buddy! Thank you! <laughs> Only just. Yeah, there we go. Oh. More oars. Yeah, pretty much it. Okay, we'll explore that pocket cave, and uh, then we shall call the episode there. Alright, okay, so, let's just fast forward this a little bit, shall we? Hmm, there appears to be pocket caves which reveal other pocket caves. Okay, maybe if we keep doing that, we'll come across a fully-fledged cave system. That would be awesome. Slimy, can you do me a favor, buddy? Go down there. Go on, take him out. <laughs> take him out! Take him out! Kill him! Do it! Come on! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Easy stuff. See, look, another little cave right here. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe there's something in here. Who knows? Who even knows? Uh, so far, nothing. Maybe over this way. Who knows, man? That's the thing with Terraria. Like I said before, you need to check every single nook and cranny. You never know what you'll find in one of them. Okay. Nothing in that one. Let me just put a torch in there, maybe. Okay, nothing in there. There's a slime way over there. But that doesn't matter a great deal. Okay, maybe there's something over this way. Who knows? All right, here we go. Do 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 do. Go over there. Up we go. Okay, got a bunch of platinum. I guess that's all right. Do I have any bombs? I don't have any bombs. Dang it. Oh, I've got dynamite though. Yeah, let's use it. Boom! Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Big explosion, many wows. Huh, there we go. Probably a waste of dynamite, all things considered, but you know what? It's a fun way of mining, isn't it? Using explosives. It really is. There we go. 32 platinum. Not a shabby amount. Right. Hearts? No? Hearts? No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a uh, pretty good note to end the episode upon, in which case I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a like rating, it'll be much appreciated. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But yes guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.